Hello everybody, my name is Andre. this is Dr. Gradus International YouTube channel and today we're working on 2-inch cooling management distiller. Basically it's going to be a video tutorial, video user manual about how to run this distiller in a reflux mode and we're doing spirit run. We're doing these videos uh, since 2012 about each distiller and sometimes we show each process which is needed to be shown. Yeah, so if you like to see something specific, something particular, uh, please write in the comment. So actually, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and share us with your friends. That's gonna be great uh, for the YouTube channel. Anyway, let's get to the review and over here I have parts of this distiller and let's have a look at them. Over here Firstly, we see the extension. It's 650 mm long, has two, three clamps, uh, absolutely standard ones on the sides. And also we install universal thermometer port. So in the future, you will be have an ability to build something different where traction of temperature in your extension is might be needed. For example, uh, liquid or vapor management column why not? It's better to have it. So that's why we install it right away. Also, I have to admit that uh, some of the equipment is mine. That's why it might have some scratches. So uh, just understand that. So between extension and defragmator, which usually installs on extension, yeah, reflux condenser, we supply liquid management the unit. What it allows us to do is uh, just easier collect heads, collect it with a high performance and with the accurate speed of collection by using this roller valve which is also included with this distiller. Yes, this unit can be modified, for example, like this, so we can install a universal thermometer port like in the bands we have, so these 90s you can install thermometer or a sensor from your PID or something different or just use a end cap and seal connection if you don't need to read temperature over there. Anyway, that's a great piece of equipment because on these kind of steels it's sometimes really tricky to adjust the steel to speed of collection, for example, few drops or one drop a second if you really want to uh, make a pure distillate, pure alcohol, uh, like neutral, yeah, but it's okay to run without this thing, but uh, I show you that it's really, really easy on this distiller. Anyway, let's go further and after liquid management unit, we see that we install this reflux condenser, deflagmator, and this one is pretty interesting because it doesn't have a uh, usual shotgun construction as you see at many um, manufacturers and workshops. This is spiral, so the surface is much more higher compared to shotgun and that's why uh, this small size is able to uh, reflux uh, will power about 2300 watts and that's going to be maximum. So at this power there still is going uh, to be running in a full reflux mode uh, if you need high performance. And that's why this is going to be here installed. And also uh, this thing is absolutely a great one when you need to see the temperature of no return in this particular steel which is over here. Yeah, see the vapor are coming only to the condenser, so that's why the temperature of no return. And this uh, reflux condenser reacts really fast to the uh, change of water supply to his cooling tubes inside. And that's why in 2019 I decided to come up with the idea and install spiral over here. And reflux condenser is like to me, it's much more easier to work with a reflux condenser like this one uh, instead of using the shotgun because, you know, in a shotgun you have some volume in your uh, device, so you need to wait when water uh, is going to be mixed with 
cold and <laughs> hot water and after that make an adjustment on your rollers or on your tap from your water supply and it's not really really nice when you need to uh, just regulate and do your other stuff so after a flux condenser we install these 90s and this unit is modular so you can break it apart and use in other setups if you need after the bands we see that we can install condenser and this is shotgun condenser which has three partitions inside and actually for their uh, additional cost we can install more partitions and the condenser is going to be working a little bit better so it will save you some water supply uh, if for example water is expensive or you have a closed system with an ice bucket uh, on the floor for example yeah and over here we see four tubes uh, with a diameter of 16 millimeter uh, inner diameter is 14 millimeter so walls uh, pretty thick a uh, really great condenser and you're able to run this one with a 12% mesh at the power 4 kilowatt in a like, mode like this one when uh, condenser works uh, like, like at the maximum efficiency because vapor will uh, come to a condenser and condense evenly to each tube of this shotgun construction so after the condenser we install this product collection adapter uh, i don't really know how people call them in english so please write in the comment because i see and i found a lot of variations how people call them <laughs> even in russia we have like several uh, words about this unit but i call it a product collection adapter and it has atmospheric tube so the liquid which is going to come from your condenser is not going to choke yeah you probably uh, saw this effect if you are already a distiller anyway and also of course locks six pieces with gaskets which are made by us from German high quality great silicone the thermometer absolutely you can use Fahrenheit Celsius and uh, the interesting part about this still that we supply this with the, the separate water supply kit so it has two T's a special silicone which is a little bit thicker to put between T and a roller valve and roller valves also made by us from stainless steel and brass and you can regulate the amount of water to your condenser and to your reflux condenser and adjust the still according to your preferences and this is really important to mention we can change this kit to uh, usual mostly more common outside of russia uh, push fitting connection so instead of these 10 millimeter tubes which are 380s in inches uh, for americans yeah uh, we can install half inch thread or half inch coupling or a lot of different threads so absolutely easy and uh, instead of these roller valves you will have uh, this system for the regulation water supply to your still so this is how the distiller looks like assembled let's run this thing I forgot to add low winds to my boiler. Well, it's not a big deal. So to make APV lower down to 40%, I need to add 1 liter and 200 milliliters of water. I don't need a thermometer over here in extension, so I just put an end cap oops, and seal the connection. So in the end we just need to install the roller valve for 
collecting heads, close the roller valve and put water management on this still. So here I got my old equipment, old hoses, but they're pretty good. Uh, thick silicone uh, installs over here, here and here. Uh, it, it is supplied with this kit. And down here we install roller valves. So you see you basically need to just cut how you like it. And that's gonna be fine for me. Maybe not so uh, pretty, but it's, uh, it's working. That's why it's enough for me right now. And two hoses on the top. So as you see, pretty easy. Inlet for the water, outlet for the water. So each silicone hose we use right now has in a diameter of eight millimeter and uh, fittings all 10 millimeters. So silicone hose stays uh, really nicely and it won't fall and won't disconnect at any time. Maybe only if you put like two, 350 liters an hour and that's like a huge amount of water uh, 200 milli <laughs> 200 liters an hour and they are all stays really nicely and also uh, as I said if you don't like the silicon holes connection it's fine we can add the PVC connection or just weld a uh, half inch or any other thread you need to So we're using right now maximum power, we have 4 kilowatt, 4.4 kilowatt actually, 223 volt and almost 20 amp. Yeah, it's a lot, but we're just heating up as fast as it possible. And that's it. So if you're a new distiller and you're just starting the distillation process, uh, just look at the steel before it turning the water for example over here if you have a separated uh, like water supply kit no matter pvc hose or silicone just check if the roller valves or needle valves for the pvc are opened otherwise if they're all closed <laughs> your silicone or pvc hose will just fly off the connection So I regulated the amount of water to something like this. That's probably going to be enough for me. Yep. So we can come up to the, the distiller. As I said, this unit is for the collection of heads. So uh, we just in the beginning and we're just waiting for the heating process. So we can already adjust our distiller, our column, to the full reflux mode. So all we need to do is just close this roller well, so we don't let water come to the condenser. And all water is coming to the reflux condenser. So the column is going to be working in a full reflux mode, and we're gonna able to cut the heads easily. So as you probably saw, I decreased the power down to 1800 watts and that power I'm going to choose for this distillation process. I can choose 2000 or a little bit more if I have cold water and if I really want to. But when you're collecting heads, it's not really important how much power you put to a distiller. Anyway, uh, Right now, 1,800 watts and the band is warm, so a little bit vapor is coming to this unit, but all of it condensed uh, by the 
vapor condensation, yeah, so by the air condensation actually. So over here I got 36 degrees right now. I've already shot uh, on um, my other camera and there's like about 100 uh, Fahrenheit. And other band is absolutely cold one, so absolutely no liquid is coming, absolutely no vapor <laughs> is coming to the product condenser. And also don't forget to put a hose for the product collection, but for right now I just I'm sure about how run this distiller, so uh, there's nothing to uh, worry about to me. Anyway, let's take our uh, hose from the liquid management unit and adjust speed of collection heads. So only one thing we need to do is just regulate the speed. And it is pretty, very actually, very easy, extremely easy with the roller valve or needle valve in case you, if you like to adjust it uh, more accurate. Yeah, the roller valve is good, but not as good as a needle valve. I'm gonna go for like a two or three drops per second. Yeah, and that's going to be enough for me. While we're waiting for the collection process of the heads, I can show you how you can turn this distiller into a liquid management column easily. 